Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've got a rather exciting unboxing today, or at least I think it's exciting. Um, so this is from Diamond Art Studio. Now, I will say that I am impressed with their customer service before this even got to me. Um, so I ordered it on the Thursday before Good Friday. I can't remember the exact date. Anyway, it's more relevant that I ordered it on the Thursday afternoon with Good Friday the following day that was a bank holiday and, he's, of course, Easter Monday as well that was a bank holiday. Um, some companies do ship on a Saturday. It's never expected for a company, for me anyway, for a company to ship on a Saturday. Um, it's sort of a Monday to Friday thing, in my opinion. Anyway, I did get a message on my order very quickly after I had ordered um, saying that the UPS guy had already been um, that morning, but they were trying to get hold of him to, to get my order in and, and we're going to pop some goodies in for the inconvenience. And I'm thinking, whoa, like I did not expect it to even necessarily be shipped that day. So therefore, it would have been the following Tuesday I expected you know, it to potentially be shipped. Um, so that was amazing. I then got an update to say they had got hold of UPS um, and managed to get them my parcels. This one did arrive on the Tuesday um, and this one arrived on the Wednesday. So already very impressed with sort of their attempts to get things to me quickly, um, but was, was not expected at all. So... I'm hoping that the rest of the experience um, matches, is my hope. So it comes in a sort of clear bag, but this is this is very nicely wrapped. Look, so it's wrapped in brown paper with um, a sticker and ribbon and a little card that is that is stuck on, I think. In yeah, it's stuck on. Um, Thank you for your purchase. So I will open that in a moment, but I do want to open sort of this second one. So basically I ordered two diamond paintings. I ordered a full size diamond painting in square. And then they do also offer um, small sample sort of diamond paintings, which is what I'm guessing this is. Um, the small sample ones, I think, are only £5. They offer them in a round and a square. I ordered the round one of them so that I could basically see what they were like in both drill types. Um, then I'm guessing this is the extra, which, as I say, was never expected. Um, I don't know if there's anything in that. No, there's nothing in that envelope. That's just used to keep it flat. Kind of make sure the dresses don't flash everywhere. Okay, so this is what I've got. So we've got a card, Diamond Art Studio. Oh, and apparently it says it's a cover minder with N45. I can't even tell what that is. Anyway, um, I'll let you read the card. I can't even tell what that word is. I'm not going to make a mash of it because it's just embarrassing. Um, so I'm guessing that's what this is. So they've sent me, oh, it's a little, it's a branded one, but it does come with a little magnet. Yeah, it comes with a little magnet on the bottom to act as a little cover minder. And it just has Diamond Art Studio on it. That's sweet. Okay, I'm going to, no, I'm just going to pop them back in there. I'm just going to make a mess if I try to get it back in the packaging. And, oh, double-sided diamond painting release paper. I can always use that. Um, so this is, this looks like it is exactly the same as the sort of cover paper that I do now currently use. Um, and I cut it in half. So I use it at half the size. That's the standard size that it comes in. So it comes in 15 by 10. I use it as seven and a half by 10. Um, so there we go. So thank you ever so much for those. I say they were not 
expected at all um, but delivery and stuff was super super quick so let's start with the small one first gorgeous packaging I must say um, pride ourselves on offering the highest quality time and painting kits available straight from our UK warehouse so they are a UK company diamondartstudio.co.uk um, They've got some really nice tape and stuff. Very nice. Oh, I didn't do very well. Okay, I've ripped it. I suppose it was never going to stay in its gorgeous brown paper anyway, was it? So this is the sample. So this is a 15 by 15 in round. So I wanted to sort of see what the diamonds and stuff were like. So... You can also choose whether you have the toolkit or not. I think I did choose the toolkit on each, again, because it was mainly for the review and to see, you know, what these products were like. I wanted to be able to show you guys everything. Um, but, oh, that's sweet. So this has 14 colors. Oh, this is gonna be fun to do. 14 colors. And it is a round. It has quite a bit of shading in it, considering it's so small. It is poured glue. Where's my tape measure? It's over here. So let's have a look. So it says it's a, what did it say? 15 by 15, which is the actual diamond painting area. Is 15 by 15. So off to a good start already that is a true reflection so I say this one is sort of an example it's got a nice it's not got the furry back but it has got a very nice looking canvas very nice looking sort of glue you know like it does go over a little bit to make sure that you can place all your diamonds but it's not messy it's a straight line nice clear symbols um, they do use symbols as well as letters. Nice key. So you can see that key there. See those symbols? Gorgeous. And the glue and everything on this looks really, really nice as well. Okay, so diamonds come in these little packets. So we've got it all, oh, we've got 3866 as well as 3865. And then we've got some lovely amount of colours and shading in here. Really nice. Some greens, oh, lots of greens. Lots of greens and blues for that background. Nice. Let's have a look at the toolkit that we get. Gorgeous matte package. It's liking. See if I can get in it. I'm trying to get the tray out. Okay, so it's sort of a bigger white tray, I think. Anyway, it's a nice size white tray. We get a blue pen. We've also got some blue wax, which is nice. I like the blue wax. We get oh. seven placer and a four placer we get a squishy for going on your pen or in that new hack you can sort of cut it and use it as a stopper in your tray and then we do get a pair of tweezers they are the sharp ended tweezers um, but they're the nice metal black tweezers very nice Okay, I need to get the tray in because that's the thing that takes is sort of just as wide as the gap and then I'll pop the rest in. So very nice looking toolkit and stuff and as I say I'm pretty sure this costs five pounds which to me is an absolute bargain for one of that quality especially to sort of give you a chance to test out you know the company and, and whether you like theirs and um, they do have a square one as well but i did already order 
a square diamond painting so I figured I would order the round sample kit so that I could try both. Okay so this is my main purchase this is my big one um, we've got DIY diamond painting um, tells you what it includes and then we have got instructions I'm just having a look and checking that they sort of make sense they do seem to make sense it does use American English though on the back because colour doesn't have a U in it but I can still read both so we're all good I can read American English as well as I can read English English okay Oh, what size was this one? I forgot what size I ordered. Does it say? Oh, yeah, it's on the bottom. So this is, I ordered the 40 by 50. It does come in two sizes, but the 40 by 50 looked a good size to me. And I do already have so many large paintings that I didn't really want one that was even larger. <gasps> oh, it comes in baggies. Oh, I like that. Now, I don't know if that's the case for rounds that are bigger than the sample one I don't know but that is nice so we've got 32 different colors from what I can see just to the glance and bear in mind I am under my lights and I'll never quite know until I actually do it and um, the symbols do look to be all clear where there is white a white symbol that the background colour is very dark which will help it to stand out and then where they use black the colour is quite light I just thought this image was beautiful but let me see if I can get you to sort of get to the point where you can see the symbols so they do use white on black and black on white which is good there is 32 different colours with DMC numbers. Again, it's not got the soft furry canvas on the back, but it has got, it is a very nice poured glue canvas. Very sticky, very neat and nice edges. It's got the branding at the top. Oh look, I don't even need to pull them all out. You can have a look at the colors this way. The drills look really nice from what I can see. They're all standard drills, so there's no A, B in that sense. Um, but it didn't state that there was, so I didn't expect them. But yeah, they are all looking really, really nice. Got some gorgeous colours in there. And we've got a really thick bag of blue at the side here as well. But yeah, nice looking drills, which is always good. I'm not seeing a load of rubbish in the bottom of them. Again, we know for definite when it does get round to me actually fitting this up. I will know for definite because I'll have actually worked with it. But toolkit does look the same, whether it is square, round, small or big. It does look like we get the same things, yes. Yeah. So we get a little pot of blue wax, a pen with a squishy, a seven and a four placer and a pair of metal tweezers quite quite sharp metal tweezers but my kids are old enough that if they stab themselves with a pair of tweezers it's their own fault that's what happens when the youngest is 17 they become responsible for their own stabbings with tweezers um, so yeah really nice toolkit so you can choose an option without the toolkit um, the only reason I chose with was for the purposes of this unboxing so I could sort of see you know what what the toolkits were like whether they were different anything like that but any future ones that I order I'll just say no to the toolkit because I have a few I have just a few though it's always nice to have one of the nicer toolkits but look at that image I think that's gorgeous okay let's check the size in on this one so this is down as a 30 by 40 no a 40 by 50 
nearly got me. Uh, and it is just short of 50, so it's like 49.8, that's fine, um, by 40. So obviously it's just the orientation of, of the photo. You don't want to stretch it out just to get those extra few millimetres. But the shading looks really nice. There's a lot of a lot of confetti going on in some of these places here to give it this look. Oh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed from delivery, you know, from pre-delivery through to actual delivery. I've gone very daisy mad, haven't I? Um, yeah, very impressed with the service so far. So if you want to treat yourself, um, and I say treat yourself, I don't think their prices are unreasonable or extremely high either. Um, don't take it as that. Um, I think their prices are very, very reasonable. Um, you want to support a UK business, then hop over to diamondartstudio.co.uk because... I'm kind of liking these. Um, I'll be very excited to work on them. I might get around to the square, to the round, a little bit quicker than I get round to the square. But that's only because I have some custom paintings that need to finish first. But I am really impressed with the detail. If you look there, the amount of different symbols there are. Slight different bits of shading. There is 310 in this one. Um, there's no 939 though, and there is a little bit of 3371, but overall, so this is 310 round here, there's a little bit of 310 over here, so I'm sure that will probably, well it may still look as dark when it's done anyway. Anyway, this one is definitely going to go into my stash and get popped on my little decision wheel so that the app can hopefully decide that I need to do this one soon. But yeah, gorgeous. Um, I'll pop links to them down below in case you do want to go and have a nosy. Um, if you can't find the link in the description, it is just diamondartstudio.co.uk. Um, and yeah, give them a go and let me know your thoughts as well but so far I'm very impressed um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon